Hi, you fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And who's this sitting next to us? Hello, I'm Fifi. <laughs> She's back, y'all, in the flesh. Great to have you back, Fifi. Thank you. What are we watching today, Fifi? You came over just specifically for this one. Yes, we're going to watch The Lighthouse. Do you all know anything about this? Not really, other than Robert Pattinson and William Defoe is in it. That's about all I know, too. Yeah. That's exactly what I know. Well, hopefully there's a lighthouse to go with them. Let's go find out. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. Is this supposed to be set in New England? I think so. 1890s? Something like that? Oh, okay. really? You know, I never really think about where lighthouse keepers, like, actually live. Like, of course they would live in a house that's connected to the lighthouse, but for some reason I always thought they just, like, lived in the in lighthouse. In the tower itself, yeah. 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 So you have to hear for the shift turnover. Weekend crew, yeah. How do you get this job? I don't know. That's you, a good question, actually. Do you have to get, like, a certificate or something? Oh, I'm sure you do. <laughs> oh, they didn't tell me you'd have to actually share a room. As big as this place is, you can't get your separate rooms. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> he just farted in his face. He just got dusted. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, interesting. It's Ooh, a mermaid. mermaid. Uh, a little trinket. Mm. Still not a single word, just a fart. <laughs> For four weeks. No, sir. Thank you. Man, what don't drink best have his reasons. Against regulations, sir. From them's manual. Do as I say. That's in your book, too. Drink or you're fired. It's only one month and I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. There's no HR in 1800. <laughs> no, there's not. To four weeks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did he load the well with whiskey? I respect them to get up to see the lantern. I can deny you. Well, the rules are alternating shifts. Oh, you, you, you man, I'm fixed with. <laughs> <laughs> this is one salty sailor. Man, he's swashbuckling as they come, huh? A lot of mechanics just to make that thing go around. That's a good point. This guy okay? No. <laughs> Why are you shipping down in front of the light? Could you imagine the silhouette that hits the oh, ocean? Yeah. <laughs> Can't tell if it's the bat signal or a naked guy. No. It's a very lonely island, though. Yeah. With just the dark ocean and this yeah. poor electricity. So <laughs> other than that big light or, like, you know, widespread electricity. Yeah. I'm sure it's friendly. Sure. It didn't sound that friendly, actually. I love that. That was dark. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I guess there's a certain age where you just like don't care anymore. <laughs> and that's that age, right? <laughs> that yeah. age, right there. <laughs> what is that? Asbestos, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he put it in the water. Oh, he's, he's doing it. He's cleaning the sewage. The sewage? From where? What? So it's probably lie is what it is. Uh, I told him that was one of his duties. Get out there and clean that stuff up. Mm-hmm. And fix the shingles. Yep. So you really have to know how to do a lot of things. Apparently so. Yeah. What on earth is he doing? <laughs> Interesting place to put a peephole. Uh, mm -hmm. So the older man, like, he stays up at night and does the the night shift, right? Or what? Well, by night shift, he just sits up there naked with the, with the light on. Oh. But yeah, it looks like that's what they do. Aww. Just a seagull. Keep working. <laughs> First friendly conversation we've had. <laughs> it's not going to attack you. Just keep pushing the cart. There's a standoff happening here. For God's sake. It's a bird. <laughs> No elevator. That has to be what that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's Willem Dafoe's character. He's not going to help him carry that up there. Nope. <laughs> need a pulley system in here. Something. <laughs> you don't go in there. 
Oil's tired. Use this next time. Save your hell of a lot of trouble. Bring that drum back down the ladder where we have found it. <laughs> For God's sake. What made your last keeper leave? Went mad, he did. Raving about sirens, merfolk, bad omens, and the like. He believed that there was some enchantment in the light. Well, I hope that didn't happen to you. I think it's already started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I seen you sparring with a gull. Bad luck to kill a seabird. More tall tales. Bad luck to kill a seabird! Clearly, this guy is superstitious. Yeah. I hadn't noticed. <laughs> <laughs> see his silhouette like oh yeah you can you've been neglecting your duties lad don't deny it what do you call that i mopped and swept twice over you lion dog <laughs> if i tells you they yank out every single nail from every molding nail till all them nails sparkle like a sperm whale's pecker <laughs> and then do it all over again you'll do it and by god and by golly you'll do it smiling lad because you like it i quit <laughs> that's what i was thinking too you have to wait for the boat to come get you <laughs> fine but i still quit <laughs> i would just like swim to the mainland <laughs> this job sucks yeah yeah i gotta give it to willem defoe though he's got some great dialogue in this yeah, yeah. he does keep him steady lad right shining like a silver whorehouse token. <laughs> I'll drop you down a few feet. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. <laughs> All right, man. Can we switch uh, duties here? Quit your flailing, lad. I ain't yours. Yours. Yar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. He for real dropped him. <laughs> well, at least it was muddy. There's your buddy. Hey, get quit that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bird just ran off laughing. He's going to kill that bird. Yeah, yeah, nothing tells me he is. Oh yeah. Maybe if he hadn't been such an asshole to it in the beginning, it wouldn't be like this now. Bird never forgets a face, and there's only two on this island. No, no. Ephraim Winslow. I'd like it if you'd call me by my name. Suits me just as fine. What were you working for? Big timber up north. Okay, so it was logs in the water, I was saying. You see, she's the only situation one for me. I'm a wiki, and the wiki I is. What is a wiki? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sometime soon I'll raise my own roof. Somewhere up country. No one to tell me what for. Same old boring story, eh? You're gonna be at this lighthouse forever, boy. What's he doing? Knitting? Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why is it bad luck to kill a gull? In them's the souls of sailors. What met their maker? Are you making one of those fishermen hats? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a lonely movie. It really is. Mm. What on earth is he doing all night up there? Oh. Whoa. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, that got weird. That was not what I expected <laughs> you were going to see. Uh, often we escape the claws and, and we see something that replaces what we don't want to see. So. <laughs> he was so traumatized. Ew. 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 It keeps pumping. <laughs> The water's getting bad. Hopefully that didn't tap into the sewage line. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. The bird dead. Oh, it's not dead. It's just suffering in there. Oh. Wait, which one is which one? That's his bird. Oh, that's another bird that's in there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No. Good God, dude. All right, I think you made your point. Jesus. It's dead. Stop. <laughs> That is way extra. It's time for some bad luck. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's trippy, yeah. yeah. Don't come out of the north. Oh, wait, New England's coming out of the south now. That's hurricanes. Northeasterly wind will come soon, a blowing like Gabriel's horn. You're getting off this rock tomorrow, Winslow. 
When did he say? Tomorrow? That's what he said. I guess those weeks went by real fast. Not if that wind kicks up storms, he's not going anywhere. He just had to kill the bird the day before he goes to sleep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Moron. Look at him just watching him work. <laughs> Supervising. Better than fish fishing. There we go. Lobster. Good tonight. You can't you... do that every night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <clears throat> Shadow is always like bigger than him. Yeah, he's yeah. real close to that light, too. Mm -hmm. They all did say, here comes Jack with his nine month tail. I love it. I love those sea shanties. Yeah. <laughs> it was to a nun's hospital. All them nuns were Catholics, I tell you. <laughs> Feel shame when you lie with a woman. I ain't saying to nothing. <laughs> he clearly isn't. <laughs> Why haven't I? Well, the light. I'm the keeper of this station. And I'll never let no man touch it. Don't concern yourself with the beacon, man. Mine! You know, if he doesn't go crazy, he's found a pretty good gig here. It'll be worse. Yeah. He got, like, too lit. <laughs> At least his clothes are still on. The Barely. <laughs> what? Oh. oh. Really? That is what you think it is, Dan. Oh, God. <laughs> Two movies in a row we've had that. <laughs> I appreciate that I live in this time. Right. Because I never have to empty out a bedpan. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have thrown it out a lot. <laughs> 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 Why? Why would you make sure the wind is against you? It's all over now. At least the rain will wash it off. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> what is that? I can tell. Is he seeing a mermaid? Oh. Yep. That's the third person we've seen. Mm-hmm. Oh, the gills. The gills. That's going down into the mermaid part. Mm-hmm. It's interesting. Kind of freaky. Yeah. What are you splitting your lungs for? You smell of shit. <laughs> Why are you guys trying to leave? Nobody's coming for you right now. Not this way, is it not? I ought to left them uh, bedpans there for the next shift anyway. It'd be like your problem now. Oh, oh my. Look at that there. All because you had to kill a seagull. Oh. Something about the provisions? The dance got to the food stuff. The salt cord is out! It's only been one day. It's been weeks ago since we missed our Winslow. And I ain't one to be stranded here with some damn lunatic. Neither is Winslow. <laughs> right. So who's the lunatic here? Yeah. 75. Oh, Stryker, what my room here for seven long months he was. You're just trying to scare me. How's the storm go on for seven months? There's no way. Why are they doing it? Good question. <laughs> Very treasure. I don't know. It's not going to help you if you had food. <laughs> Maybe it is food. He has to run. Please don't be. What is that? It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they actually have food in there. Oh, good. I think it's called a geocache that they dug up. Uh, good for them. Yeah. There's going to be some cannibalism there for a second. Maybe not yet. <laughs> oh, first thing he grabs is the knife. It was that scurvy what left me locked ever since. I thought you said you broke it. Catholic nuns and such like. You must have misheard. No, I know we too. heard that. Yeah. What? 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 <laughs> what? 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 What's the trouble with you? With you? With you? No! I want a goddamn steak. If I had a steak, I would fuck it. Oh. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. He would <laughs> How can I possibly like the horse shit you fix us for supper? You're drunk. I you won't be saying that. <laughs> now he crossed the line. <laughs> You're fond of me, lobster. Say it. Say it. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Let Neptune strike ye dead, Winslow! Oh! Triton, bid our father the sea king. Yeah, I don't want to do this job. Just smother this young 
mouth with punch and slime, engorging your organs till ye turn blue and bloated. A bulging bladder no more, but a blasted bloody film now, a nothing for the RPs. Good lord, it keeps going. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Even any scantling of your soul is Winslow no more, but is now itself the sea. Dang. First of all, that was well said. Yes. Second of all, that got dark. All right, have it your way. <laughs> I like to cook. Such an overreaction to, I didn't like your cookie. <laughs> That's some domestic dispute they're having there. I feel like at the end of that, I would say, I might have killed a seagull. <laughs> Gives me shining vibes, too. Just a little bit. I could see him going crazy. Yeah. He's already seen things with mermaid. Oh, yeah. You think it could just be cabin fever? Maybe. Just the isolation getting to him? Mm -hmm. Could be. Oh, that's what the knife was for. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Good lord, that snoring. It's gurgly. <laughs> wow, that is quite the episode. <laughs> just kill him now. Oh, he was thinking about it. Queer way to wear your shoes. Still don't want to wake you, is all. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think this film was gonna have that much farting in it. Yeah. Like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's another thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is really strange. Oh my god. Did you see that? Just a little shower in there. <laughs> what I gained from that is he murdered somebody at his last job. Yeah, Seems he's like feeling it. guilty in some sort of way. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe he didn't murder somebody maybe he was reckless and they got killed because of it that could be too oh, oh. my goodness that's a full bunch of olives they are now anybody get that no oh, my god <laughs> Now we're just slow dancing. <laughs> Look how nuts they've gone. <laughs> Can you imagine if like the relief shift showed up and this is what they're oh, looking God. at? Oh no. Don't lean in for one. <laughs> oh. oh no. Okay, so okay. Like, oh. <laughs> I don't consent. <laughs> he's got fisticuffs. <laughs> oh, oh okay, I guess we're fighting now. <laughs> Can't say. I Don't be spilling any of your beans to me. Uh, See, conscience is ever is. Don't be working twist words all out of my head. I ain't. <laughs> they haven't made a point yet. <laughs> Saw the jam coming, and I stood, and he slipped. He shouted up, Tom, you dog. I just stood there as all, watched him get swallowed by them logs. So you're right, Joe, you let somebody die. Mm. So wait, who was this guy? Was he like a... just some coworker? I think just a coworker. So I packed up his kit and fixings as if they was my own. And Ephraim Winslow, well now he's got a spiffy clean slate. And how else am I going to find respectable work? Tom, just talking to nobody. <laughs> Why just be you? My goodness. Kind of reminds me of Alien, Ridley Scott now. Mm -hmm. A little bit. We're getting Shining, we're getting that, we're getting all kinds of movies here. Oh. Oh. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> right? He lost it, man. Yeah, they're very stir-crazy, these two. He's like, I am out of here. <laughs> oh, he's after him now. Where are you going? Oh! oh you didn't actually. No! 
Oh, ran away, okay. <laughs> you have no escape now. It has gone full shining. See how he's even like limping around? Yeah. <laughs> Danny! It's Tommy. Wind blow! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> I was like, he's gonna do the door thing. Too. Yeah. They got a horrible leak in that roof, too. They have so many leaks. Yeah. Yeah, they do. I know what you've done. You killed a second one eyed junior man. I found it in the lobster pot. Man, you're just going crazy. Can I free from your designs? <laughs> Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Yep. <laughs> and I knew you was mad when you smashed up that knife boat just now with chasing me with an axe. What? That was you. Yeah. Better than me, the dinner knife you pocketed. You ain't safe with it, them's government property. <laughs> Deducted from your pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. How long have we been on this rock? Five weeks? Two days? That's it? It's only been five weeks. I thought it's been months. Is it honey? That's what it looked like. Is honey and what? I don't know, but they're sharing it. Oh, well, he's probably making like mead or something. Peeing into the cup floating on the water. <laughs> yeah, you drank too much. Ew. <laughs> Wasn't that the book he was constantly like, the older dude was constantly? Yep. Like his log or whatever? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he literally saw the captain's log yep. floating in the water. <laughs> now you know all of his secrets. All work and no play makes captain a dull oh, boy. God. <laughs> Is it all empty? Yeah, maybe. Or they're all the same mm. sentence. Mm. Show it to us. <laughs> I'm sure he's gonna question us about it. Thank you. All right, you're a good lad, Winslow. You got a future. I'm tired of your damn fool yarns and your Captain Ahab horse. <laughs> Stick your laugh. Snoring, goddamn fox! <laughs> goddamn fox! <laughs> you always aim them at my face. <laughs> Assistant slept late. Attitude. Hostile. Recommend severance without pay. Severance without pay! Have we been seeing something that's not actually been happening? I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to tell who's telling the right thing. Selfish bastard! What you gonna do? Will you kill me? You might. I feel like that's about to happen. Will you kill me like you done that gold? I did it! Liar! Twas ye what changed the wind on us. You're a dog. A filthy dog! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they've had this fight before already. Let's see if this one ends differently. Yeah. Oh, hurt. Hurt. <laughs> it might work. <laughs> oh yeah, he's haunted for real. The mermaid now. <laughs> Stop. Jesus. Is he on a leash? I think, yeah, I think he is. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. What has happened to these two? What are you gonna do? Bury him? I don't believe it. Maybe? I need him to crawl to his own burial spot. Mm -hmm. Scorching eyes with divine shames and horror and casting them down to Davy Jones. For no man is suffered. I hope he's hitting him with crushed Oreos right now. I know, right? Eating. And it's true. Quit chewing it. Uh, did he, like, come to his senses a little bit? It's a little bit late. Oh, he's got one of the keys. 
Oh, okay. Oh, good. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, you can stay here. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> you had him with an axe. You should have finished it. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, oh, my. That looks chunky. <laughs> that was chunky. That's embedded in his brain. Mm -hmm. God, who is the surgeon's role? Dain to save a civilian soul. I guess he's prepared to just light this island on fire. Maybe. Oh, he's having to crawl up the... the... You got hit in the arm, didn't I walk. <laughs> you got to be just in time to die when you find out what's up here. <laughs> I swear this is going to be underwhelming to him. Dude, it's just a room with a light. For real. Is there like a series of plates? Looks like it. Just weird design. Probably so you get like maximum reflection. Oh, it got stopped. Open it. Something's in there. Yeah, he's gone straight to crazy town. Look at him. Oh, it's cleaning up off of him. Touching that light, it's got to be burning you right now. No, not all the way down. <laughs> yeah, he's going all the way down. There's a chance. Oh, man. <laughs> Back to fog? Back to fog. <laughs> have they pecked his eyes out? I think oh, they might have. Oh my god, oh, they're tearing it apart. Oh man. Oh, he's just a living meal. The birds got their revenge for that one. Yeah, they did. Jeez. Okay, but he would fell down the, the stairs. Did he roll out the, the lighthouse too and into the rock? <laughs> like... I don't know how any of that worked. I'm sure he's crazy as he walked after him voluntarily. Just, okay. <laughs> just wow. <laughs> I wouldn't wish that end on anybody. Just like unable to, you know, or like not completely dead yet, but just getting pecked alive. Yeah, the birds are slowly dead. eating you alive, yeah. little piece by little piece. Mm -hmm. No, but I mean, for what he did, he kind of deserved it, I guess. Yeah, I guess. He murdered his his guy there in cold blood. Kind of supports a uh, Tom superstition there. Killing a seabird is bad luck. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's probably. Probably what that is was just karma coming back to get him. Yeah, so, that's some serious karma. Overall, a very strange movie. I felt completely isolated with them this mm -hmm. entire time. Like, there was no end in sight to what was happening there. No light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. Even though you were in a lighthouse, it felt like it felt like there was no light. Did you guys notice, too, that it wasn't widescreen? It wasn't, yeah. It made it feel even more constrained. Yeah, yeah I feel like... Definitely. I'm that was that was on purpose for sure. Mm -hmm. I, I know you mentioned earlier that the the witch was directed by the same guy. Yeah, I believe okay. so. So have you have you all seen the witch? Only bits and pieces. Oh, okay. I haven't seen it at all. Yeah. Have you? I, yeah, I have. I've seen the whole thing. I can I can definitely feel like the same sort of like vibe from this movie. And in that one, you know, you get kind of a similar feeling of like isolation. It's just different. Whereas like these guys are like surrounded by ocean. Um, the family in The Witch is surrounded by the woods and basically just like, you know, like nobody at all. It's just that. Yeah. The pacing feels very similar because like not a lot happens. And then there are scenes where it's like a ton of stuff is happening all at once. Mm -hmm. Really all they had was each other. And I guess it. I guess according to what you're saying there, that's kind of a common theme in the in his in his style there mm -hmm. is making is that is that feeling of isolating you from everything else. Yeah. Because it's all about psychological yeah. you know, torture there. So. Mm -hmm. Right. And it was. Surely it was. But it was it, it was hard to like to try and figure out who was the unreliable one in terms of like you know, is this guy, like, is what he's saying, like, is this actually true, or is the captain guy, like, is he actually, like, on the right here, or whatever? It was hard. It was hard to tell. I think that's left up to interpretation. I think it is. I think, in a way, they were both really unreliable, because we saw that Tom, you know, when he went to the ledger, she saw that Tom was recommending that he not be paid for any of the labor that he performed the whole time there. Mm -hmm. He's pretty much just lying, saying, yeah, the guy does nothing, he's, he's a... 
he's a terrible worker, mm -hmm. even though we saw him doing all this hard manual labor. Like, what was the point of that? It's just, just you being an asshole, or? It's just him not wanting to pay the guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Part of me can't say I blame him, mm -hmm. but at the same time, that's really just his recommendations. Like, well, that's not coming out of your pocket. That's coming out of somebody else's pocket. You work for somebody else. Why deny him pay? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you're setting yourself up to to, to be killed on this island. Right, right. So I, I'm still really curious about the um, the guy, the the coworker of Winslow. From who, his like, previous job? Yeah, who got killed. And then I guess maybe because it was hard for me to understand like the older sounding English, I guess, like the <laughs> accent. So I don't think I got the whole like story really. So what I understand is they were on the job and he hated this guy. The guy, mm -hmm. the guy was actually named Winslow, the guy on the other job. Oh, okay. He hated the guy, was thinking about killing him, but before he had a chance, the guy slipped off a log and ended up drowning. And the guy that we know as Winslow did nothing. He just stood there and watched him die. Mm, I see. You think it was under similar circumstances? Like from this from this movie? So he slipped off a log. It was obviously an accident that he mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. But he but he stood there and just kind of watched him die, as you say. Mm -hmm. Or as he said in the movie. But in this, I mean, he deliberately killed the captain. But mm -hmm. do you think it... I wonder if it could be under similar cir circumstances. Because he killed him because... He felt he was trying to ruin his life there at the end. Mm -hmm. Do you think that was that it's a possibility that that's why he just let the guy just kind of die? I could see that. Like it's like two things happened at the same time. Maybe they both see this guy as lazy and don't want to pay him, mm -hmm. and he just does that. I could see that as happening. Yeah, very similar circumstances, especially at that point in time. Like we like Phoebe had mentioned earlier, you have no HR at this time in history, no. so it's pretty much you know, up, up to the boss whether or not they want to pay you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, that must have really sucked at that time. Like, you couldn't really stand up for yourself and you had to just do whatever they told you to do. You yeah. have minimal legal recourse and then in some cases if you try to like strike or demand your money, they just there were Yeah, there were zero worker rights back in the day. Yeah. Zero. Even in the United States at the time, mm -hmm. there was nothing. You didn't get those worker rights until like FDR came around. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. You know, I said this before earlier, but I'm definitely glad that I live in this time and yeah. era. <laughs> you know, we don't have to do any of these things. All um, things considered, it's it's better than that. Yeah. <laughs> Much better. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I also really liked the imagery in this film. Like, you know, the ocean shots, the shots of the storms. Um, but also, like, that one... Um, that scene of, like, a bunch of clips where it was, like the gross tentacle stuff and then like the the mermaid and then the him fishing the head out of the ocean and stuff like that i actually really like that whole mm -hmm. like series of clips i'm trying to and i can't interpret their meaning yet mm -hmm. that's just me though i feel like the only things i'm able to interpret here were you know what's going on in their heads i just can't interpret like what the imagery of like uh, of like the kraken and the uh, and the mermaid for instance could possibly mean my feeling is a lot of the imagery represents kind of how he feels at the time mm -hmm. so you know when he's feeling lustful he imagines the mermaid okay yeah when he's feeling like he the the world is you no know, i guess closing it around him. on him he thinks about the tentacles that's interesting mm -hmm. because you know especially there when he's beating up tom and you know he kind of Tom kind of has the tentacles come up around him. He was feeling it all at the same piece, but right. when, I guess when you saw the mermaid, by by your by your interpretation, there it was probably him enjoying what what he's doing to Tom. That or he or he was thinking too, you know, like Tom's been my friend on this island, the only one I've known for however long they've been here. Maybe it's, it's his consciousness saying, "Well, do I really want to kill this guy?" And then him realizing, "Oh, I don't like this guy. I want to kill him." Okay. Yeah, I do wonder what the mermaid, what the sim symbolism of the mermaid is. Like, I can see that too. I do remember there was like one conversation that he had, he had so many, com they had so many conversations. Yeah. They're ridiculous, but, nowhere <laughs> conversations. Yeah, yeah. But there was one conversation where at one point, um, Winslow asked the Tom, was he the captain dude? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think so, yeah. That, um, if he was like ashamed to be with women and then he answered he's like i'm not ashamed of anything or something like that <laughs> yeah and then um so i wondered if that has something to do with the mermaid too i feel like that first time he sees her in the daylight when she's like wrapped in the seaweed on the rocks and stuff and she starts screaming he like runs away 
I wonder if that had something to do with like how he felt about being with women or whatever, or if that was like something else, like another, like another meaning behind that. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm not mm -hmm. sure either. Mm -hmm. I feel like it was really interesting that they had her screaming, like she was beautiful, but she was like also terrifying at the same time. Right, kind of makes you wonder if he hasn't done something else besides let that one guy die. Right. For real. Mm -hmm. I guess Winslow was imagining himself being another fish at some point. Mm-hmm and being a fish that was up inside the mermaid, because that's like pretty gnarly. The Are you talking about the tentacle part? Uh-uh. Or... So he was, like when he was pulling up the uh, the, the trap mm -hmm. with the ocean, and he was imagining all these things happening at one time, there was a moment there where we saw the mermaid, and it looked like her uh, fins were spread, mm -hmm. and there was another fish inside. Big oh, one. I guess I didn't catch that. Yeah, I didn't either. Yeah, I didn't catch that. That's what it looked like. It looked oh. like, and I, th I was wondering if he was imagining himself that fish. I thought that was just her sexual organs, like on her tail, or I don't know. I didn't really like yeah, look closely. Yeah. Well, there was that, but there was some. But then they pulled away and showed her. I'm gonna have to like rewatch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to like pause and be like, mm, <laughs> I gotta look at this. But yeah, because like. I believe you for uh -huh. sure. That, that that could definitely be, could have been just her her organs there, but. But it looked like there was another one right. either coming out or going in. Uh -huh. Either way, it looked. Either way, it looked kind of <laughs> gnarly. <laughs> so <laughs> I d I didn't spot that, but maybe it just all happened so fast. It was it, it, it was moving pretty fast. Yeah. <laughs> and there was a lot of disturbing imagery. Yeah. Um. To with uh, to, to pile digest. on top. Of it. Yeah. <laughs> I will say overall, I thought it was really well acted by the both of them too. Mm -hmm. Their like, expressions were awesome. Like, I would not think of Robert Pattinson as, like, an old-timey person, no, but you, you would never would have known it was him if you didn't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, of course, Willem Dafoe is being Willem Dafoe. Yeah. <laughs> My God, was he ever, like, their expressions were killing me. Yeah. The whole time, like, you could see the anger and the, and the, uh, and the paranoia mm -hmm. in their eyes. It was insane. Yeah. Well, especially, too, when Willem Dafoe goes into, like, one of those big, long rants <sighs> yeah. and just let the, the dark lighting in the room just really highlights it. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah the, the shadow catches him perfectly it's yeah perfect. mm -hmm. i'll tell you one thing i felt so bad that he had to empty that guy's chamber pots oh, yeah. <laughs> i kept thinking we we're gonna see this guy squatting over one <laughs> i'm like <laughs> thank <laughs> good we, we don't they need everything they did show up a yeah. bunch of other things that he did so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lots of farting <laughs> yeah lots yeah. of fart. <laughs> not to mention that scene where he where um where robert pattinson was like under the grate in the lighthouse oh yeah <laughs> yeah and then <laughs> And then they tried to clean up what that was actually. There's just a uh, tentacle goo. I'm like, yeah, right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, maybe he did just imagine all of the Kraken imagery just to like protect his mind <laughs> from what he had seen. <laughs> maybe so. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't really prepared for all the uh, the comedic elements to this either. I know. Yeah. Like, I thought this was going to be psych. It, it was psychological horror, but it was funnier than anything. I suppose that's part of it too. Like, you know. In reality, things are never totally crazy. You have moments of just like normalcy in your life, mm -hmm. and then things just kind of fall off. Mm. Yeah, I feel like there were maybe there were scenes that weren't supposed to be funny, but like the it just came out to be funny. Maybe right. just from like the sheer awkwardness of just having to experience like going to a new job and then finding out that your <laughs> that your boss is just like this totally gross human being. <laughs> Like, I don't know, but... I can see that, too. I think you, I think you got the right idea. I mean, if you're in Winslow's place, it's definitely uncomfortable more than funny. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> no, but he started off completely normal, and then it became the most irrational thing ever. Mm -hmm. In the short in a short amount of time, too. It was only, like, a few weeks. I guess. They never really did specify what the time was. Yeah. They, I thought for sure somebody would show up at the end and find them both dead on the island and say, well, it's only been five weeks. They're eventually going to. I mean, the lighthouse has to be manned, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're gonna see the they're gonna see the terror. Mm -hmm. And the last thing I'll say for myself is I appreciated how I could see other movies embedded in this. Mm -hmm. Like I think I mentioned there, uh, I, I saw Ridley Scott's Alien when they were going up the spiral staircase mm -hmm. or down the long corridors from the from the house to the lighthouse. Mm -hmm. um, and when the he shining. was is the Shining for sure. Yeah. And when he was burying the guy alive, that felt like uh, Army of Darkness. Yeah, he's just sitting there talking through yeah. the whole thing. <laughs> he's like, what's that chicken? And the dirt hits him in the face. And uh, like all the imagery made me think of the ring. 
when it was happening all at once there. Oh, yeah. yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Really well done there, and they and you could you could tell they you could tell that they took inspiration from other things and made their own. Mm -hmm. And and I know it's a weird movie, but it's still one of those where it's like, it was just well done mm -hmm. overall. No matter how no matter how you felt about it, it's kind of a breath of fresh air. You don't get a whole lot of really good cinema these days. Mm -hmm. You know, the pacing felt really good too. It was almost a two hour movie, but it felt shorter than that. It did. Yeah. Yeah, even though like a large part of it is the monotony of doing the same thing and getting drunk every day and the madness of it and everything, mm -hmm. it still went by and I, you know, I wasn't like, oh, like when is this movie going to end, you know, <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But I enjoyed it. Yeah. Overall, I hope you guys did too. Yeah. yeah. Well, folks, you got several watch options for this. Should you want to watch it, you can rent it on Prime. I believe it's on Paramount right now if you have a subscription so by all means go check this out if you haven't seen it it'd be a good start to your spooky season um just to get things rolling there and that's certainly what it's doing for us here guys but in the meantime if you're brand new to this channel i hope you'll consider subscribing and help our channel grow and while you're at it leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications anytime we drop a, another video and should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind do so in the comments also take a look at us on our socials we're on instagram tiktok Come see what we're up to over there, guys. But until next time, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And you are Fifi. <laughs> <laughs> Always a pleasure to have you, Fifi. Thank you for coming by. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan and Fifi. Cheers to you guys. Cheers to you guys. Cheers. Later, guys. Mine is empty. <laughs> I saved one drop for that. <laughs>